Once upon a time, before all the rivers we had ever known filled up to the brim with water, and the ones we had already forgotten about completely dried out, the tiny village now known as Basaltic lived and flourished in peace. One day, when an elderly couple was taking a stroll by the nearby river, they found a newborn child with eyes the color of stone, laying there all alone. They couldn't just leave her there and decided to take her in. The kid, adored by everybody around her, grew up into a beautiful and hard-working young lady with the most captivating gaze. But sadly, the, will the village was struck by a disaster. After a particularly snowy winter, the river by the village started rapidly overflowing. The ruthless water swallowed everything in their path, raking everything the villagers held dear for centuries like a child's row in a tantrum. The woman rushed to rescue. With all the strange and courage there was to find within her body, she helped family after family, ensuring everybody was safe. Once all of the elders were guided to safety, a daunting realization struck the community. A few children were nowhere to be seen. The ruthless waters uh, were already eating away on the first few houses' foundations, yet the woman selflessly rushed into it. She called out to the children, yet nobody answered. With no hesitation, she ran farther and farther into the flooded fields until she heard an anguished cries coming from the old windmill. The children who were out playing hid away in it once the water started rising. The old wood that looked like it was about to break creaked under the stream's pressure, as if it was also crying too. But the courageous woman rushed in to help the kids out without a second thought. Battling the merciless current, she first carried the younger ones out with her own two hands. The windmill was on its last breath when the eldest boy came, ran, came running out and the last stair broke under him, causing him to trip. The woman rushed back to help him up. Once the boy was back on his feet and everybody was ready to run, the building finally gave in and collapsed, trapping the selfless woman under itself. In her last dying moments, she begged the mortified children to leave her behind and not look back. The current slammed the broken wood into her body, leaving deep gashes and bruises all over it. The woman, accepting her fate, only wished for one thing, for the village and its people to be safe. Then, as the blood from her heart, burning stronger than a thousand fires, touched the water, the crown miraculously started rising. Her, her crimson blood flowed with the current, and giant and destructible pillows of stone formed under it, shielding the village from any harm the water could bring. Her final wish came true, and even once the river came back into its usual banks, the village was protected by an unbreakable wall the color of its hero's eyes. That's the legend my grandparents, who are native to the area, told me when they took me to see the enormous and absolutely breathtaking basaltic pillars for the first time. Measuring, measuring up to 27 meters tall, the basaltic pillars in the Kastapel district of Rivne region are the tallest basaltic formations in the entire world. Of course, as beautiful as the story is, it, risen, it isn't really true to their origin. These unbreakable hexagon, hexagonal giants formed due to an eruption of an ancient volcano that happened around 700 million years ago. There are quite a few basalt careers in the area, both working and inactive alike, but the one that attracts the most attention and even the title of one of the seven wonders of Ukraine is the Basaltic Lake, a career that got filled up with water in 1903, which you can see on your screen right now. After all, the resources were sucked dry from it, uh, its bottom got blown up with dynamite, which freed its underground waters. Right now, this is a gorgeous lake with crystal clear azure water. Right in the middle of it stands a heart-shaped island, symbolically called the Love Island. Although swimming in the lake is banned, that doesn't stop current, current tourists at all.